You probably already know that proteins are the building blocks of life. They shape our muscles, strengthen our nails and hair, and take part in vital tasks like carrying oxygen, fighting infections, and much more. But did you know, where do these proteins actually come from? How does your body make them? To answer that, we need to dive into one of biology's most fascinating processes, translation, the molecular workshop where proteins are built. Translation is the biological process in which the sequence of nucleotides in messenger RNA is decoded to assemble a chain of amino acids, forming a specific protein. In simpler words, it's the step where the genetic code written in mRNA is translated into a functional protein. It is the second step of the central dogma and takes place in the cytoplasm. Just to recap, the central dogma describes how genetic information flows. DNA is transcribed into mRNA, and that mRNA is then translated into protein. For translation to happen, the cell requires mRNA, carrying the genetic message from the nucleus. Ribosomal subunits, the protein-building machines, tRNA molecules, which bring in the right amino acids, and the amino acids themselves, the raw material of proteins. It's actually a simple yet fascinating process, almost like a well-coordinated game. And this game unfolds in three main stages, initiation, elongation, and termination. Initiation is the starting point of protein synthesis. Here's how it unfolds. The small ribosomal subunit attaches to the mRNA strand at a specific site, close to the start codon. A codon is simply a group of three nucleotides that codes for one amino acid. In this case, AUG is the universal start signal. A transfer RNA carrying the amino acid methionine, the universal start amino acid, recognizes the AUG codon and pairs with it using its anticodon region. An anticodon is a set of three bases on the transfer RNA, complementary to the codon on the mRNA. This ensures accuracy, because each codon in the mRNA has a matching anticodon on a specific tRNA and every tRNA carries only its designated amino acid. The large ribosomal subunit then joins the complex, forming a complete ribosome. This structure now has three important sites that control the flow of translation. First, a site or aminoacyl site, the entry point where each new transfer RNA carrying an amino acid arrives. Second, P site or peptidal site, the spot where the growing polypeptide chain is held and new bonds are formed. And the third, E site or exit site, the exit door where empty transfer RNA molecules leave after delivering their amino acid. With the ribosome fully assembled and the first amino acid in place at the P site, the protein building machinery is ready to move on to the next stage, elongation, where the chain starts growing one amino acid at a time. Once the initiation complex is ready, the ribosome begins the actual process of building the protein chain. Here's how elongation works step by step. After the start codon is set at the P site, the ribosome reads the next codon on the mRNA. A tRNA carrying the corresponding amino acid enters the A site and pairs its anticodon with the codon on the mRNA. The amino acid at the P site that is methionine, is joined to the new amino acid at the A site by a peptide bond. This reaction is catalyzed by the ribosome's enzymatic activity, specifically the peptide EL transferase function. This is how a peptide bond forms. One amino acid has a carboxyl group, and the next amino acid has an amino group. During the reaction, the hydroxyl group from the carboxyl end of one amino acid and a hydrogen atom from the amino group of the next amino acid are removed. Together, they form a molecule of water. What's left behind is a new bond between the carbon of the carboxyl group and the nitrogen of the amino group. This bond is called a peptide bond. In short, peptide bond formation is a dehydration reaction that links amino acids into a growing polypeptide chain. Now, the ribosome shifts one codon forward along the mRNA. The tRNA that was in the P site now moves to the E site and exits. The tRNA that was in the A site, 
with the growing peptide chain, shifts into the P site. The A site is now empty, ready for the next incoming tRNA. This cycle, codon recognition, peptide bond formation, and translocation, repeats over and over, causing the polypeptide chain to grow longer with each round. Termination is the stage where protein synthesis comes to an end. Here's how it happens. As the ribosome moves along the mRNA, eventually it reaches a stop codon. A stop codon may be one of the three. Unlike other codons, these do not code for any amino acid. Instead, they signal the ribosome that the protein is complete. A special protein called the release factor binds to the stop codon in the A site of the ribosome. This triggers the ribosome to cut the bond between the polypeptide chain and the final tRNA in the P site. The newly made polypeptide chain is released into the cytoplasm, ready to fold into its unique 3D structure. The ribosomal subunits, tRNA, and mRNA then separate and can be recycled for another round of translation. And that's the complete journey of protein synthesis, initiation, elongation, and termination. From a simple sequence of nucleotides in mRNA, the cell constructs a full polypeptide chain, the foundation of proteins. Later, this chain undergoes folding and post-translational modifications, transforming into a functional protein that carries out essential tasks in the body. But our story doesn't end here. The product of translation is a polypeptide chain, and on its own, it's not yet functional. To become a true protein, this chain folds into a specific 3D shape, guided by various chemical interactions and bonds, such as hydrogen bonds, ionic bonds, and disulfide bridges. It's this precise folding that gives every protein its unique shape and, ultimately, its unique function. Once properly folded, the protein may stay inside the cell to perform its role, or it may be transported out of the cell to work elsewhere in the body like enzymes in digestion, antibodies in immunity, or hormones in signaling. And so, the journey of translation closes, a process where molecular precision turns genetic information into the very proteins that power life. Each protein crafted is unique, purposeful, and vital, silently shaping everything from the strength of our muscles to the sharpness of our thoughts. It's a reminder that even the tiniest processes inside our cells carry the blueprint of life's complexity and beauty.